Ladies and gentlemen, the following catchweight contest is a Bellator versus TFL fight, and the winner will earn themselves the super belt. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner and representing Bellator, he is an MMA specialist and stands six feet one inches tall. He weighed in officially at 182 pounds and has built a record of 17 wins and four losses. He is the reigning Bellator welterweight champion and fights out of Deerfield Beach, Florida by way of Jamaica. He is the ass kicking machine, Jason Jackson. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner and representing PFL. He is a boxing specialist and stands five feet seven inches tall. He went in officially at 182.4 pounds. And in his 35 fight career, has earned a record of 25 victories, nine defeats, and one draw. 23 wins coming by way of stoppage. He is the two time PFL welterweight champion and fights at the Pearl City, Hawaii. Brada! Ray Cooper the third. Your referee in charge, Brian Miner. Brian Miner draws the assignment for this special catchweight feature. Jason Jackson in the white trunks representing Bellator. Ray Cooper the third, waving the PFL flag tonight in the blue. Straight into punching range, Ray Cooper. Respect? He came right across that cage, didn't he? <laughs> the thing is, he knows he has to land one punch to do the damage. He's got to get inside that long reach advantage range of Jason Jackson. 79 inches for the Bellator welterweight champion on the reach. That's an incredible reach for a welterweight. But at 5'7", Ray Cooper can get right inside that pocket, and he, he will thrive in that pocket if he can stay there safe. That was a hard low kick, though. He can't take too many of those that would disable his forward movement. Cooper's been fighting taller fighters his whole career. This is what he knows. But he can't waste a lot of time against Jason Jackson. That hook just grazed the top of Jackson's head. These are just such different athletes. Not just, fight, they're just different athletes. Like, who's more likely to push a weighted sled across the field? Cooper. Who's more likely to run 10 miles and not break a sweat? Jackson. It's just, it's one of these different fights, and they both know it. Cooper knows. I gotta land, I gotta land hard. Something to watch out for with uh, Jason Jackson. He's very good, and he, he used it a lot in his last fight. Walking his opponent onto an uppercut, allowing them to level change onto a punch. He doesn't necessarily need the same kind of power that Ray Cooper has if he can force him to meet the power as he's moving in. Great work by Jackson to stay out of the range of that traveling hook from Ray Cooper, and he landed another calf kick in the process. And look at the bruising on that calf already. It's not even gone to swelling. It's gone straight to bruising. Dan, I like what you just said. You're saying, you're maintaining, you don't have to hit as hard if you hit the opponent as he's circling in or coming down to something. If you're talking about a head-on car wreck, I get it and I like it. Exactly that. And this is where Jason Jackson's speed comes into play. You know, he's very good with these long-range straight punches, and that's usually what gets people to level change, to dip their head onto the uppercut. He's also got a great knee, lovely feint on the calf kick. Ray Cooper bit on that, which shows you how much that leg is hurting. Yeah, already, I think he's landed about five of them, starting to affect the lead leg of Ray Cooper the third, and you can see Jackson building confidence because of it as he uses that to feint. The, the danger, of course, with the calf kick is it's very difficult to throw it and get your head off the center line. Like, you think back to Ray Cooper when he fought Magomed Karimov. The overhand that he landed was... It was it was such a short punch, he was able to generate that power. That's a really damaged leg, but yeah, we're that cornered th animal is a very dangerous individual. Halfway through round number one, and Cooper's already in big trouble. And there's the wrestling. Good defensive work from Jason Jackson, forcing his opponents to wrestle, using good counter wrestling in the knees. This is a great performance from him so far. Nice wrist control there as well, opening up the doorway for the knee to the midsection. If you watched any of the training videos that Jason Jackson and his camp were putting out, he's been putting in work on the wrestling. Testament to it right there as he gets Ray Cooper the third to his back. 
less than two minutes here in round number one. I mean, Jackson had Gable Stevenson in the room with them, and they were drilling. Saw him going with Leon Edwards. Now, this is an interesting problem that I don't think either three of us have had to solve in our career. You've taken some calf kicks, and then you get taken down, so that damaged leg is elevated. As soon as he gets back to his feet, he's going to feel very uncomfortable putting any weight onto that lead leg. Fortunately, they've not invented the calf kick in our day, guys. That's true. I remember where I was the first day I uh, learned it. I got hit by it by Benson Henderson in a training session. Oh, and he was the expert. He was the pioneer. He was the pioneer. It was at Jay Glazer's gym, and he hit me with three or four of them, and I told him after the workout, you're missing, you're missing my thigh. You never hit it a single time. He said, your leg hurts, doesn't it? I said, yeah. So yeah, I meant to do it. That's how I learned it, though. Very interesting what Jackson did there. He turned the head off the fence. I prefer to put the head in to the fence, but Jackson apparently wanted some open real estate. He must be thinking about Pat. Look at this. Now, that's old school right old there. School Just take your him. hand and smother him. I slide off elbow there as well. They can be very dangerous, very cutting. Cooper's got the underhook he needs, but he's going to have to unlock his legs and get to a hip if he wants to elevate and get back up. Short elbows here from Jason Jackson on top. And you can see our leg strikes counted up. 11 of 11 have landed for Jackson, and that has been the biggest difference maker in the fight so far for the ass-kicking machine. Cooper has made a decision that he is going to live to fight another round. He has, he has made a decision, just stay in this one. Don't use the energy it requires to get up. Let's run out the clock. Jackson will try and flurry his way to the end Cooper's of this round. Here. Cooper's hurt here. Cooper's hurt here. Start around number two here in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Sean O'Connell, Chael Sun, and Dan Hardy, cage side. Ray Cooper the third, two-time PFL welterweight champion, is in the blue. This is a catchweight bout against Jason Jackson, who's in the white. Interestingly, Ray Cooper hasn't changed to, to his stance to southpaw, which shows two things. One, he's oh dear. That one took the leg right out from Ray Cooper, Cooper. and now the play from Jason Jackson ah! and the ass-kicking machine. Gets it done in Saudi Arabia! What a statement that was. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Brian Minor calls a halt to the action at 23 seconds of round number two. Declaring your winner via TKO, Jason Jackson! And to help award our super belt, I'm Mike Tyson. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Jason Jackson. Have I ever seen a man so happy to receive a belt like that before? You are just glowing right now. That was a big motivating factor for you, wasn't it? Yes. I just want to thank God, thank my family, thank my team, and thank Ray Cooper, because without him, it wouldn't be no fireworks here. So tell me about the game plan. Was the calf kick a key to the victory in this? Did you know that coming in? Well, I knew I had to start fast to get his general rush and put his cardio to the test. But after when I kind of realized that he was scared of the leg kick, I, I was just like, just stay calm and fake it and let it go when you're ready. But my wrestling is awesome, man. Two belts, big performances. What's next for you, my friend? How do you prove you're the best welterweight on the planet? Cedric Dummy! I want you! I want you! Okay, that is a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for your champion, the super champion, Jason Jackson.